So people always ask me, why construction? Why do you love construction? And I do love it. Every day, it's something new, it's something different. And it keeps it, keeps it really interesting. So, when we roll out to, to tackle a project, we take this rolling shop with us. And it is loaded with whatever we might need to do anything from timber framing to concrete to digging a basement, putting it in, in <coughs> putting in a septic system, what, whatever. We've got everything we need right here. Now we just finished up a project and we did some cleanup and we're hauling hauling back some some boards off of a project we just did. It's a little messy and dirty, but we'll get the stuff unloaded. We got things cleaned up and it'll be ready to go for the next job. One of the things that I love most about construction is the tools. I, I gotta admit, I love the tools. And I feel like a bit of a superhero every time I cut a board or smash a piece of concrete with a sledgehammer. There is just something magical about tools. And being able to use them efficiently, effectively, and then to maintain them, take care of them, and they just, they last and they, they certainly do make us a lot of money. Now, not everybody believes that, but that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, I, I got into construction at a very young age. About my first job was doing a demolition on a commercial building when I was 16 and I was hooked, absolutely hooked. Tearing down walls, reframing walls, doing electrical, there was nothing else I wanted to do. To be able to get my hands dirty and create things and problem solve, I, I love it. And now that I, I have, certainly have a lot more experience and I've done a lot more projects and been a lot more places, I, I love it even more. My, my challenges are different these days. It's not building the wall and pouring the concrete. A lot of it's got to do with managing employees and getting materials and coordinating with owners and getting inspections done and those types of things but I still love the overall process of construction. And my hope is that as we move forward with essential mountain homesteading that we'll get to share some of those tools and techniques and skills and that experience that I picked up over the last 25 years and be able to share it with you guys as we get to build on our new property and build a new life for ourselves. So when we head out, we try and take absolutely everything or 10 of everything because you never know what you're going to need and running to the store can be not, not just expensive, but it can be a real waste of time. People always give me a hard time, like, why do you have three of these? Like, well, I probably lost one and found it, probably couldn't find one and went and bought one, and this one may have been lost and then found somewhere else. And now they're all together right here, ready to go, just in case. But... You just never know what you're going to need. Sometimes we find stuff along the way. We try and pick it up. That's seen some hard riding. You probably get that cleaned up. But it's it's nice to have things for doing whatever project you might come across. Plenty of screwdrivers, just in case. Who knows what you're going to need. Um... But it's better to have too much than too little when you get out there on a project and want to try and get some things done as quick and efficiently and as in as, to do as quality a job as possible. Because we could monkey some stuff together with a butter knife, and but it works a lot better if you've got a saw that cuts smoothly and leaves you with clean edges. 
so when I when I think tools I love them I've got a bunch of them if I could I'd get a bunch more of them but that doesn't mean you can't get things done around your house or on your project without tools there is some very simple tools some inexpensive tools that can help you get a lot lot done you don't necessarily need this many tools that what you're looking at is the culmination of 20 plus years of collecting tools and I openly admit that I have a tool addiction so uh, I also don't plan on getting rid of that addiction anytime soon so we'll do more on tools as t projects allow and as time allows but I thought I'd give you a little introduction to what helps us get things done when we're out there on the job.